Hey YouTube, Bird Billy here. Today I want to talk about the Power Add 150 watt power inverter. Now this inverter was sent out to me for free for me to do a review on it. So I've had it for about a month, a month and a half now. I have been using it in my truck here exclusively. I had another inverter I was running, but I switched over to this one. And so far I really like it. It has one power outlet on it. It has two USB ports on it. One rated at 2.1 and one rated at 1 for phones or for tablets and I believe even for laptops now. It does not have a power on and off button. It has a green indicator light on it that if it's not happy with the power source will go red and you will not get an output on your AC outlet. It has low power supply protection built into it. But I don't know if that will actually cut it out before it would drain your battery down low enough it would cause a problem for you. I use this daily. I leave it plugged in 24-7. We have some pretty decent temperature swings around here, and I have not had any issues with the battery with it. So I've got a mess of stuff here, and it looks like a big jumble of wires and meters, but what we're actually going to do is perform a couple quick tests on this. I've got the fan over there because that's one of my shop fans, and it pulls about 0.65 amps. I also have a Ryobi charger over there and that pulls somewhere around half an amp. Between those two things right there, we're right about where this inverter should max out at. So what we're going to do, I'm going to plug this contraption in and what this is, is it splits the line out so we can see some amps going through it. And then it, this is just a splitter at the end so I can plug everything in and we can see what the voltage drop is as we add items to it. All right, let's get to it. All right, so right now I got the truck on. The meter is showing 116 volts and the amp meter is reading zero amps. Now this device that I have on there will allow me to increase the amps by 10 times if we're not picking it up. Sometimes when you're looking for low amp draws, you need to do that and that helps you see it, but I think we'll be able to see it pull here. So let's turn the fan on and see what happens. All right, so the fan is running on high. The volts actually went up a little bit and we're still showing, we're right about, yeah, just over half of an amp. Now we're gonna plug the charger in. All right, so now I have the fan running on high. I have the charger charging a four amp hour battery and let's see what we're doing for amps. We're doing just under one amp, and our volts are 117. So this little guy is doing it. It's charging everything. Um, what I'm doing right now is just touching it to see if it's getting real warm or not. It's been running for a couple minutes here with this kind of a draw on it. All right, and again, I'm doing this with the truck running. I wouldn't want to just do this on a car battery and leave it like that because it is a little bit of a draw. I think if you were on a job site and you were running this without the car running and it got in hours and hours, you may be in for a bad surprise when you go to start your car. All right, well, this looks like it's a decent little power inverter. I've been using this for about a month now. I haven't had any issues with it. And as you can see, it's definitely doing what it's supposed to do. It's running a fan and it's charging up a battery at the same time. They have this rated for running laptops, uh, breast pumps. They have a whole list of items that didn't even really think about that people would need to charge or have on the go and this is something that's capable of doing that all right well as always i hope you found this helpful and i'll talk at you in the next video